The NTSB has uncovered a deadly flaw in a popular airplane. There's a growing concern that unless something is done, this kind of accident would soon happen again. Investigators conclude that problems with the ATR's wing design make it vulnerable to this menace. The agency that regulates US aviation takes drastic action. We are going to issue an airworthiness directive this afternoon that will preclude the operation of these aircraft into known icing conditions. The FAA takes swift action banning all models of the aircraft from flying in icy conditions. Public concern over the safety of ATR airplanes grows in the aftermath of the Roselawn crash. The most controversial charge, that the FAA had relied on the French authorities to test and certify the aircraft, then rubber stamped the results. Therefore, the ATR-72 was never really tested by the FAA in any way, shape, and form as though it was manufactured here. The problem that exists is that there is no technology available today to the pilots or anyone on the ground to f accurately forecast or predict where these situations of bad ice are going to occur. They're test pilots and that airplane can fall out from under them and their passengers without any warning and in the blink of an 